Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today you will learn in this simple tutorial how to bridge wrapped BTC from Ethereum blockchain ERC20 token WBTC to native Bitcoin blockchain, native Bitcoin wallet address. So either if you have a MetaMask wallet or a Ledger device and you have a BTC on Ethereum blockchain, the ERC20 token, and you want to bridge it to a Bitcoin wallet, either if it's a Ledger or any other Bitcoin wallet, this is the guide for you in a few simple steps. If you follow this tutorial, you will be able to do it. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. So when I post these educational videos and updates and super interesting content about crypto and DeFi, you will get notified and watch it as soon as possible. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in order to bridge from Ethereum WBTC to Bitcoin, native Bitcoin to Bitcoin wallet in a decentralized way without KYC, without centralized exchanges, without verification, all in an anonymous, private, decentralized way, we'll use an app called SafePal. So I already have the app on my mobile device, but if you don't have it, just look, search for SafePal. Even if, if you have like iPhone, like my case or Android, just search for SafePal in the App Store or the Play Store and download the official SafePal wallet app. Then you have to create a new wallet. Now I created already a wallet and I won't go through the wallet creation process because it's quite similar and it's quite uh, looks like MetaMask wallet or Ledger wallet. So I guess that you are already familiar with this kind of wallet creation process of setting up password, storing their secret recovery phrase, verifying the secret recovery first and all these kind of things. But then basically once you created the wallet, if you are not familiar with this, with this, watch my other tutorials of how to create a MetaMask wallet or Ledger setup or other wallet setup. It's the exact same process. But now I assume that you already have this kind of SafePy wallet setup, you set up a new wallet and you have another wallet, either if it's a MetaMask or a Ledger wallet with your RAP BTC ELC20 tokens on Ethereum blockchain. So once you're in the SafePy wallet, the first thing that you want to do is search for WBTC, RAP BTC, as you can see on my screen over here. And then you see that it's, it's an ERC20 token. You can verify it's ERC20 token. If it does not appear on the list, then you click the add button over here and then search for WBTC. Okay, once you found it, you can click the plus button on the right. Now I already click it, so it's already added and I will just go back. Now that you have the RAP BTC token added to your SafePal shortcuts, now you will click on the WBTC and then click here, receive, okay? This is on the bottom, you can see the wallet address that the SafePal wallet generated for you or the QR code. It's very, very important to understand that this is ERC20 token address, Ethereum address. So don't try to send here native Bitcoin or Bitcoin from other chains only, but only ERC20 WBTC token. Now, this is the address that has been generated. Obviously, it will be blurred on the screen because I don't want you to see the address, but you will have your own address. You need to send your WBTC tokens using your MetaMask or Ledger wallet to this address. After a while, for me, it took like 20, 30 minutes. You're supposed to see, if you go back, you're supposed to see the balance here reflected on your SafePal wallet. Now that you arrive, WBTC arrived to your SafePal wallet, you're gonna use the in-app bridge capability, decentralized pitch bridge in order to bridge it from WBTC on ERC20 to native Bitcoin. So you need to make sure that you have here BTC like I have on the list. And if you don't, you're gonna do the exact same step that you did before with WBTC. You click here, add and search for BTC and then add it. But I think that by default, it's gonna be there. So make sure you have BTC on the list and then you're gonna click on the two small arrows on the bottom. Now, this is basically the swap feature, swap and bridge feature by SafePy Wallet. So you're gonna choose here on the top WBTC and on the bottom, you're gonna choose BTC. 
make sure it's BTC, not BAP20 BTC, not ERC20 BTC. And then you simply gonna choose the amount. So let's say you have one Bitcoin. You can see that it gives you slightly less. In this case, it's gonna charge around 0.7%, which is almost 1%. This is very, very low for bridging between WBTC to BTC in my experience and it's all decentralized so even if you it's basically to cover I think the transaction fees that they have and it's a small fee that they take 0 0.7 0.6 percent is quite low for bridging WBTC to Bitcoin and vice versa you can do the opposite if you have Bitcoin and you want to um, swap it to WBTC on Ethereum and then you want to do other stuff with it maybe deposit it on Aave and borrow against it or on Compound doesn't matter you want it into DeFi so you can use the same method just upside down so means it means that you send Bitcoin to the SafePy wallet and then swapping it and bridging it into wrapped Bitcoin to WBTC and then basically once you right now I don't have any WBTC on this wallet but if I would have I, I used it already I tested it but now I swapped everything you can click here max and it will basically uh, reflect all the WBTC tokens that you have on the wallet or just uh, type the amount that you want to bridge, click next and then click confirm and then it will take around 20 minutes again to bridge it from uh, ERC20 to native Bitcoin. Not a financial advice, this is just a method that I found when I needed to do this kind of bridge. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you have any other methods that you want to share with me also feel free to discord the gym the discord community to join the discord community and talk with me right there thank you so much for learning with me DeFi, crypto wallets anything i really appreciate it and if you like the content if you appreciate this tutorial smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next videos thank you so much bye bye